discovered there was no arrangements for power. They also say, the full office has also said that they were promised alternative uh, power source. But this never happened. As a result, the bulk of the results were collected in darkness. So, why did this happen? Okay, thank you very much. Tell me what Um, it is true, uh, uh, the representative of the uh, uh, correspondent from the NTA, uh, it is true that we received reports that uh, our local government office in INEC has been uh, torched, uh, sorry, in Rivers, in Rivers has been uh, torched, uh, and uh, we also have commenced an investigation, we expect a full report from our state office. And we've also, uh, upon receipt of that report, uh, uh, informed the police authorities uh, about what happened and about the need to, to, to provide additional security to all our offices, uh, not only in River State, but uh, throughout the country, uh, to guard against similar uh, occurrences. Um, with regards to the overseer, um, we wanted somebody who can guide or assist voters so that they do not place their ballot uh, papers into the wrong uh, ballot boxes. Because we have three ballot boxes corresponding to the three elections that were held uh, yesterday. Uh, obviously, the purpose is to ensure that there are less number of uh, cases of misplaced uh, ballots. Um, it, it, we also have in the guidelines that even though we have an overseer, at the end of the uh, election, there are two levels of sorting. We still had to sort to ensure that any misplaced ballot was appropriately placed before the actual sorting in terms of counting who got what votes uh, was done. So actually, with regards to misplacement of ballot papers, by the time the results are counted, we did not expect any misplaced uh, uh, ballot. But it has helped the sorting process because the overseer, by virtue of being there and guiding people, uh, has brought the number of misplacements to the barest uh, minimum. So that really is the job of the overseer. Uh, but there are other cases of invalidation uh, which are largely associated with invalidation of ba uh, ballot papers or votes, uh, largely attributable to uh, lack of sufficient water education. Um, for example, uh, when uh, a voter casts a ballot, uh, casts his vote on the, ba on the ballot paper uh, in a manner that it is not clear as to his choice, uh, that is invalidated. For example, if a voter can print two parties on a ballot or puts a thumbprint in between uh, uh, the two choices. All those are invalidated. Uh, in 2011, uh, there was a significant percentage of such uh, invalid votes. Uh, I think uh, about 11 uh, percent, if I recall, uh, it's about 11 percent of votes that were invalidated because of uh, mistakes that were made by voters. We believe we have done sufficient water education uh, leading to the 2015 general elections to bring that percentage uh, much, much uh, lower. Uh, so it remains to be seen. Uh, uh, this we can only know after the elections uh, are over and we've declared the results and we've done the analysis. Um, we FM. You identified a challenge in crowd control. Uh, 
uh, which from what you said seem to have probably overwhelmed our, our staff. Uh, obviously, crowd control is, is a challenge, uh, but it is commendable that uh, a large number of uh, Nigerian voters turned out uh, to, to cast uh, their votes. And uh, certainly, there are a lot of lessons that we need to learn and to factor into our preparations for subsequent elections relating to uh, crowd control. Um, we know that uh, in many polling units, our staff are supposed to use a twine to demarcate, demarcate areas of, uh, of uh, queuing. Uh, and uh, many of them uh, were unable to do that, and which actually contributed to challenges of crowd uh, control. So this is something we will certainly uh, take further as we prepare for the April uh, 11 elections and uh, uh, other subsequent elections. Uh, then TV asked the question, how will, we, how will the world describe the election? I hope they describe it favorably. Uh, we believe we've done our best. We will not underestimate the challenges we faced. Uh, it is evident that it wasn't perfect. Uh, but we believe that on the whole, we've done very well, uh, even though there is tremendous scope for us to keep on uh, improving. Um, and in any case, that is why we welcomed uh, observers uh, both media and the other election observers, so that uh, reports can be made and we can learn from these reports on how we can continue to improve the electoral process. Um, somebody asks that the Kitty State has already published the results. Um, I know that the presidential election results in Ekiti have been collated, uh, and uh, normally when these results are collated, uh, the observers and everybody who is there will know the results. Um, but uh, what the law prohibits is for people to begin to, I mean, if you know uh, who of the candidates uh, got what number of votes in a kitty, and uh, you share it, uh, that is not a problem. I think where the problem emerges is when you begin to declare who is the winner by, the, by virtue of the number of votes that you have already uh, got. So people have to be very, very careful uh, about making projections or declaring uh, 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 candidates as winners based on the results that they have received. Uh, they have to look at the information they got individually, not collectively. Because it is only INEC that is supposed to put all these results together and then make a final uh, uh, declaration as to who the winner is. By the time you start getting some results and you make projection and you announce the winner, or, uh, obviously you are falling foul of the provisions of the law. So people have to be very, very careful uh, uh, about this. Uh, already there are speculations on online media when we know for a fact that as I speak with you, very, very few states have uh, actually uh, collated uh, the presidential election results. Um, therefore, Lagos TV, you said somebody in one of the parties has already said that PDP is winning, winning in 23 states. I don't know the sources of his information. I know that the results have not been collated in 23 states. Uh, so maybe you should direct the question to him. Let him explain. And you should be careful about reporting also these kinds of uh, uh, information that are put out there by people who are clearly partisan. I think if you have to report anything, you should rely on the information that is officially uh, given by the Electoral Commission. I tell, uh, uh, you said that you noticed that there were no backups for CVR, uh, 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 for the card reader. Uh, I don't know what I, whether you meant back backup batteries, because we have provided backups.